Endurica DT can simulate the evolution of stiffness loss in a finite element model. In rubber, fatigue causes both crack growth and stiffness loss. This stiffness loss can affect behavior even before cracks are noticeable, and stiffness loss is critical in situations where the mode of control might change. Fatigue tests run in strain control and in stress control will give different fatigue lives even when they start out from the same operating condition. Endurica DT's co-simulation function lets you model this stiffness loss. Based on the crack growth in each element, Endurica DT updates the stiffness of each element in your finite element model. You define the stiffness loss behavior using the degradation function. This defines how fast stiffness drops as cracks grow. Both axes are defined as ratios bounded by 0 and 1. The crack ratio on the horizontal axis will start at 0 and go towards 1 as the crack grows, while the stiffness ratio on the vertical axis will start at 1 and go towards 0. The stiffness ratio H scales the softened stress relative to the original unsoftened stress. Endurica DT uses the results from a finite element analysis and computes the stiffness ratios for each element after an increment of time. These ratios are then written to the restart file. Endurica DT uses an interface that reads the restart file into the finite element solver so that your finite element model can be executed and updated using the most current stiffness information. This process is iterated as a series of time steps until end of life. Let's apply this workflow to a simple tension strip. We will look at two loadings which are initially identical, but one is under displacement control and the other is under force control. The force applied to the second loading is chosen so that it initially causes the same displacement as the first loading. If we solve the finite element models once for these two loadings and compute the fatigue lives without accounting for stiffness loss, we see that the two cases have identical fatigue lives. This is unsurprising since the displacement control and force control loadings are identical unless the models are updated based on stiffness loss. If we use Endurica DT and the stiffness loss functionality, we can update the stiffness ratios and finite element models to account for stiffness loss. A small Python script is used to help tie this workflow together and pass the required information back and forth between the two applications. Here you see some of the combined results from the workflow time steps. These are contour plots of the stiffness loss ratios for the two loadings. The models start with 100% of their original stiffness. By the end of the simulation, the most damaged elements have a stiffness of only 10% of their original stiffness. Elements with less damage retain more of their original stiffness. Taking a closer look at the deformed geometry at the end of life for the two loadings, you can see that both loadings start to form a localized stress concentration in the region where the specimens will fail. Also, the model under force control has started to displace further than the displacement controlled model. This plot summarizes the three cases that were analyzed. For the case where stiffness loss was ignored, the displacement and force are constant during the life. For the displacement controlled case with stiffness loss, the change in reaction force is plotted over time. Notice how the force decreases as the model loses stiffness. For the force controlled case with stiffness loss, the change in displacement is plotted over time. Notice how the displacement increases as the material loses stiffness until end of life. This increase in displacement results in a shorter life than the previous cases. Use Endurica DT's co-simulation mode to capture these effects. Endurica DT, get stiffness loss right.